Okay, today's video, uh, I'm actually going to put a Diamond Eye three inch downpipe on this 7.3 diesel Ford. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos out there, and uh, a lot of people are cutting the floorboards up and stuff. And obviously, I would have had to do that if uh, I didn't have the trans out. But since I'm rebuilding the trans, I figured I'd wait to do this downpipe uh, once the trans was out. And I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do and how I'm. I'm going to put this together because uh, it's obviously a lot easier with the transmission out of the truck. So uh, stick around. We're going to get to it. All right. So, so far I've gotten the down pipe out. I was actually able to get it out on one piece, which that's a lot of the hard work right there. And then uh, come up underneath the truck and I got this thing somewhat put in. I'm not real happy with this right here yet, but I'm gonna, still working on it. It's a little bit too much of an angle. But uh, as of right now, I've done some clearancing on the floorboards. I'm trying to use an air hammer and just kind of clearance it without cutting stuff out of it. As you can see, I still got some more to do, but we're getting there. You see up in there, I got a little more to do there. Try to get this pipe to fit a little better, but. As you can see, this is much easier than having a trans in the truck. All right, here's the two pipes, old one, new one. You can see how unrestricted the three inch pipe is, but just about got this thing ready to go. That was a little more work than I thought. Hindsight, I would have uh, cut that with snips and peeled that back had to do a little more hammering on it than I wanted to, but it's not too bad. We got a couple speeder screws in there holding it back to the firewall. Still got most of the heat shield ready to go, so that should be good. One thing I did is I got it set on the lift before I pulled the trans and made sure that the engine is sitting 76 inches is what I came up with before I pulled the trans. Kind of kind of a fart smell. Whenever uh, my coworker and I come up with something on the fly at work, we call it a fart smell. I guess it's a man thing, you know, caveman, whatever you want to call it. But I measured up to the oil pan from the floor with the lift set. So I made sure the engine is in the same place without the trans in it because that that would have screwed up the exhaust big time. So had the fart smell to do that. That worked out. We got the uh, firewall good to go. Everything's clearance. It's not pretty, but that's what you got to do. I didn't have to cut anything out of this floorboard. I just kind of hammered the dog shit out of it. And uh, we're about ready to put the pipe in. So just got to keep on getting it here. All right, so we got the oil pan where it sits, where the uh, transmission's bolted in and everything is right and tight with that. Then what I did was I took this down pipe and I got it fit, finally got this thing fit. I actually got probably more clearance than I need, but you know what, that's okay. It's all hammered out. Looks like dog shit, but no big deal. It's not all butchered up, plenty of clearance. What I'm gonna do, I got it bolted to the turbo up top so it's good and tight. Coming down, got it bolted here nice and tight so it's gonna sit where it sits. My plan is to put a weld on this instead of putting a janky clamp right here. I'm gonna put a weld on this and then I'm gonna wrap this pipe with uh, heat tape. And I don't know, anybody out there, if you can keep this exhaust, normally they do it with headers. And it's not just for heat. When you can contain the heat in the downpipe of an engine, it actually uh, keeps the velocity up of the exhaust so you get better flow. So we're gonna tack weld this, wrap this thing in exhaust tape, keep the heat in, that'll be better flow. It'll keep the heat away from the uh, firewall and the floorboards. 
and this thing should be money. And it's basically gonna maximize this pipe as far as power goes. So I'm getting ready to do that. We'll take it, take it back. I'm gonna put a few tack welds on it and then pull the pipe out, weld it, and wrap it with tape, and we should be done here. All right, so we got the three inch down pipe welded up, had it in the truck, bolted up so it'd be nice and tight and right. <clears throat> you can see the difference between the flow potential of the old pipe and the new pipe. It's night and day, but what I did was I bolted everything up tight and then I tack welded it. And then I pulled it out of the truck and just did a full weld on it. Instead of putting a janky clamp on here, we just did a nice little weld on there. No big deal, but it's that important. And what I'm gonna do is wrap this thing with exhaust heat tape all the way down, all the way to the bottom. That way it keeps the velocity up and it keeps the heat away from the floorboards and the firewall. So that should be money. And this is the heat tape I'm gonna use. Get ready to do that. Got the clamps, good to go. And you know, if you think about it, being a mechanic, I'm an ASC certified master mechanic, blah, blah, blah. But being a mechanic truly means you literally have to be like an electrician, a plumber, HVAC mechanic, engineer, when custom work is involved. Because when custom work is involved, it's super time consuming, but you have to make it happen. It's just that simple. Anybody out there that knows, knows what I'm talking about. You gotta be a welder in this instance. You gotta do it all. And you know, they say jack of all trades, master of nothing. Yep, I'm an ASC master mechanic, but I'm a master of very few things. I just keep learning every single day. And as long as I learn something new every day, then I feel like I'm in good shape. So we're just doing this and uh, I'm gonna wrap this exhaust up here shortly. And then I'm gonna show that and we're just gonna bolt it in the truck. All right, here we are. I wrapped this thing up, wrapped the whole pipe up. Got all the heat shield on it. Put some clamps on there. Kind of did the 50% uh, wrap on this thing. Got some clamps on it just to hold it tight. Wrapped it as tight as I could. Everything's happy with that. And uh, next step is just to put this thing in the truck. And then we're done. But another note, you know, rip my hand on these clamps. So be careful with that. That shit's no joke. And that's where I rip my hand right there. But it's all good. Without a little blood, you're not doing the job as fully as you can. So next step, put it in the truck. Okay, we got the we got the downpipe installed. We got all our heat wrap on it. At this point, it's looking pretty right and tight. No issues. If you look at it real close, you got just enough clearance to uh, get between the the exhaust pipe and the downpipe. Everything's happy with that. We got plenty of clearance there. Everything's looking good. And I'm pretty happy with this. I got my I got my weld in there, got the heat wrap on it, so the velocity is uh, gonna, gonna give as much horsepower as possible, but at the same time, it's shielding the heat from the floorboards and the firewall. So I would say this thing's pretty right and tight. Not completely happy with this one, it's a little bit, it's not exactly centered, but it's not a problem. It's got a ball socket on there, so that thing's gonna seal just fine. It's got it bolted up to the turbo. This thing is where it needs to be. And uh, once we get the trans back in, this thing should be money. 
So at this point, it's just doing the uh, rear main seal, which I'm gonna change. It's not leaking. Might be messing myself up on that one, but we're gonna change it. Got a nice new uh, Timken rear main seal to do that. And uh, I'm gonna have that in a video. And I made sure that that oil pan was sitting exactly where it was before the trans was pulled out. So this exhaust would be perfectly fine. So after that, we're gonna get the trans done. We're on stage three of the trans and uh, hydraulic circuits on the trans. And we're gonna be putting this thing in, in in about three, four days. So stick around and we'll get to it. <laughs> 